Well, hello, my um, now elements, Photoshop elements, nine peeps, or whoever. Um, this would work for for GIMP or whoever. I just uh, um, have been doing a lot of artistic uh, images with Photoshop and GIMP, and I've had a lot of people ask me how to do stuff. So the latest one is how do you make your own brushes? And that's a good question because I wanted to know that for a long time. So I thought I'd show you here. Um, first, we want to start with an image. I have an image of a, let's see, don't ask me why I'm showing you that, but I have an image that's in a house about a block away from me. From last spring, some interesting flowers are growing out front. Let's say we wanted to make a brush of these flowers. What we want to do is open this with Photoshop Elements. Oh, and we have another image that I started that I forgot about that I will use as a background. How's that? So anyway, what we want to do is use our quick selection tool. And let's just select this flower. It's an interesting flower to say the least. And I got a little too much here, so I'm going to hit the negative button. And that looks about right. And we'll select inverse. Enhance, adjust color, hue and saturation, and we're just going to make that white. Okay, so now we've got our little flower here. Let's go ahead and erase a little bit of that. Select, deselect. I just want to get rid of these little strands that are there. still see some sort of odd edges around here so what I like to do is let's go ahead and select the white again then select inverse or I've selected the flower and we go select modify contract let's contract that by two pixels and then we'll do select inverse, edit cut. So there we have pretty good little flower brush. Um, well, actually not yet. We have a nice little flower. So let's go ahead and turn this to black and white, enhance, convert to black and white. And we want to choose the black and white that best defines shading of the flower. And I'd say that looks pretty good there. Say OK. And then we want to go enhance lighting levels. And we want to kind of bump up this uh, enhancement here. OK. Now here comes the fun part. Edit. Define brush. And see, so you've got a picture of the brush that we've just made. And I'm going to call this uh, Portland Flower Brush. Or just Portland Flower. And, whoops. Choose OK. And I hope I, oh, I didn't have my brush selected, so I have to do that all over again. So, edit, define brush. We have to select our little brush tool first. Portland flower. And press OK. Now, look what happens when I come over here. I've got a perfect brush of that flower. OK, so let's switch over to this other. This is a background image I was making for something else, but I think it will work fine here. Let's do another layer. Switch our colors to white, use the paint bucket tool, and paint that white. Switch to black, grab our brush tool, and look, we have our flower brush. So you can bump it up to whatever size you need using your bracket keys. And that looks pretty darn good. So let's select the white. 
we want to choose our quick selection tool and kind of refine this a little bit because we've taken a little bit more or we've X'd out some parts of it that should be included. So let's say we like that okay. Select, modify, contract. Or I'm sorry, let's expand it. Select, modify, expand by two pix or two pixels. Okay, and then edit cut. And look what that did. That put a flower on that background. Now all we really have to do to kind of make this flower interesting is color it. So we'll go to enhance, adjust color, hue and saturation, colorize. And let's see, it was kind of a green, clover green. So we'll kind of give it that same look. And enhance lighting levels. And we're gonna give it a little bit more pop here. I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but there you have it. We just made a flower with a brush. And if you ever have a brush that is too transparent, just make your background white, use your brush on it, and, and cut everything in it that isn't the brush that you made. So we can go ahead and we can add a drop shadow to this, give it a little bit more realism. Adjust the drop shadow by clicking on the FX over here further away if we wanted to. All sorts of stuff. We could duplicate it if we wanted to. And that's just for fun. You'll notice if um, you're a sumo friend of mine, you'll notice I've already done a brush of this. so. I made an image earlier that I put on Sumo. Actually, I think I put it on all my websites that I show my stuff on. So, and this isn't really the correct background for this, but I just wanted to show you real quick how to make brushes. So there, from an image that I took a picture of, I can make. You can do this with leaves. You can do it with branches. You can do it with clouds. This is how I get a lot of my cloud brushes, just take pictures of the clouds that are really cool. And you can do the exact same thing. So there you have it. That's how you make a brush from a picture in either Photoshop or GIMP. Thanks guys, have fun.